Good afternoon, everyone. It is Friday, October 16th, and I do not know what time it is. It's probably close to 4 o'clock. I don't think it'd be 3 o'clock. I think it'd be 7. If not, it's going to be close to 4. Uh, we're in the 7720 combine. If you haven't figured that far out. You see behind me there, we got a little green. That is green sorghum or milo. Uh, we got pulled into this finally on about a Tuesday. Uh, today we're going to get a good go at it. And uh, it's pretty good. We're making the old combine grunt for a little bit. And, uh, see if we get some shots here. This is what we're doing. So I got a row crop head on there. Uh, it does look like a corn head, however. It's got a belt. So, 
I, I can take a round out, but I'm, I'm full when we get there. I don't know, we're gonna try this, see if you can see that back there. She's getting full. So, a pretty good load on there. Uh, I found out actually the other day, no. So, a few years ago, this field was corn. I didn't get about that much corn in it. And, uh, Field made 120, so that's kind of what I guess the Milo was making. Well, it's a little bit better than that, I think. I don't know that it's a lot better than that. I mean, I don't have a yield monitor, but um, we're gonna put two doubles that size on this green cart, which would be two rounds a half mile. I'm sorry, I gotta get things situated here. And uh, what I want to do. Then unload the grain cart onto the Ford in the morning after we dumped the Ford the first time. And uh, that'll give me a pretty good idea what we're going to make for a yield. Um, normally, this bin I'd say is 220, 230 bushels for corn for sure. I'm actually thinking there's probably close to 250 bushel on Milo back there. And part of that's because it's so heavy. Uh, we're just going to unload the green cart, we had 7210 on this one, so that green is dark red, and I think it's pretty, uh, it's kind of cool about it, Milo can be white or red or bronze or cream or yellow, or, it's kind of cool stuff when they got that, they're dumping it on the ground in the elevator, and uh, it's kind of a rainbow colored pile, it's kind of neat, so. Um, but we're gonna get this green cart full. So, uh, I know last fall I was picking some corn and it was dry, like 13. And them rows were more than a quarter or half mile on that farm. And uh, that corn made 194, but I could make it all the way through the field, so. I mean, I can hold 200 bushel of corn, but uh, 500 bushel of corn in that grain cart leveled off is full. And dry corn, you level it off, you've got to work hard to get her full. So, um, we're going to have over 500 in there. And that's two rounds, so, uh, that's pretty good. Two rounds to be about four and a half acres. So there's over 500. So let's just do some quick math for being simple at four and a half acres. <coughs> well, it's not going to be 150 because that'd be six, that'd be over 600. That'd be about 675 bushel. It ain't that good. But it's probably 130 times four would be 400 to 520. It's probably pretty close to that, 130 range. So uh, we're in north central Kansas in Jewel County. It's actually where we're at. Um, but uh, so I just want to watch this a little bit or uh, wanted to update you, I said I would. Um, there's 78 acres in this field. We might stop here a minute because uh, Get the auger and swung back. I just kind of like this field. It's kind of cool. You can pretty well see the whole thing from right here. So we're on the south end here, and there's there's my alfalfa field over there. Where all my baling videos on alfalfa I did. But uh, there we are. There's 80 acres in this field, and it's going to be pretty interesting because all I've cut, you can pretty well see it. Plus some short rows on the north end, some short end rows up there. And uh, I've taken 1,300 bushel to town, and there's, we'll just say, we're gonna say 500 on the grain cart. So it's 1,800, and there's about five, a little over, there's probably a little over 500 on the other truck. So that's uh, 2,300 bushel, and there's no way we've done 23 acres at all. There's no way. That's a, that's 25% of this field, we ain't there. I get this stripped out, we'll be there, but there's uh, one, two, 
about four rounds, which will fill that semi. You can see it. But uh, it won't be long. We'll have everything full. So uh, just want to do a quick update. Uh, beautiful afternoon. It's probably 60 degrees. Wind blowing out of the west about eight miles an So it's, uh, we're going to crawl in here and keep on whacking this stuff off, but it's pretty good. So uh, we'll catch you next time. Thanks for watching.